Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you a new tool that can help you to put your device into the Pond DFU mode on your Windows machine. There are so many methods for putting your device into the Pond DFU mode, but for the Mac and the Linux, but for Windows, there are the new tool and it's very easy. You can just download this tool from the description link. After the download, you need to extract it first. First, when you open this tool, you need a USB drivers also and this tool is supported by the A7 to A11 chipset that is compatible with the Checkmate exploit and for the drivers you need a USB development kit driver so you will get this official link. Basically these drivers are very important to connect with the user mode application through the USB devices and it's supported by the Windows operating system so you will get the latest version 1.0 link. This driver is available for 32 bit and 64 bit so you can download it according to your Windows architecture. So after the download you need to first restart your PC to take the driver's effect. After the restart you can open the tool again. Now this time you will see the driver issue is fixed and tool is asking you to connect your device into the DFU mode and if I more talk about this Windows Pond DFU tool it's just working on the concept of the iPond DFU 32 or iPond DFU Lite from the Dora 2 that is the Lime Rain and working on the Checkmate Boot Room exploit but that tool is for the Mac operating system but now for using the same exploit they are working on the Windows as well so after the download you can connect your device after that first you need to put your device into the DFU mode and as I mentioned earlier this tool is supported by the A7 to A11 chipset like iPhone 5s to iPhone X so you can use this model and put your device into the Pond DFU mode after that click on that button and now you will see you will get your device ACID and the iBoot sections after that you will see this device is exploited by the checkmate and sending the boot files now once it will done you will see all done in the end and your device is now in the Pond DFU mode it will show you the blank screen but it's on the Pond DFU mode so to confirm that I will show you in the Mac operating system on the tool of HFZ and after that you can send the RAM this file or boot or SSH file or also you can do from the untethered downgrade and the other stuff so there are lots of ways you can use this Pond DFU mode so this is the simple way you can put your device into the Pond DFU mode on your Windows machine so that's all for this video I will see you in the next one so till then goodbye take care and peace out